Okay, uh, now I'd just like to show you how to find um, your X and Y intercepts and uh, your upper and lower bounds. Um, but instead of using the trace function that I did in the other video, I'm going to show you just a, a different method. So, um, yeah, so the way you do that, I'm going to keep the same one I did in the other video, so the same function there. Um, but let's say I want to find the X intercepts again. I'll just find just one of them this time. What The other thing you can do is go menu. And last time I went trace, and we kind of traced the graph that way. But this time I'm going to go to 6, go to analyze graph. And it gives you some options here. You can find the 0, which is the x-intercept, right, um, is the 0. Um, you can find the minimums, so that'd be uh, where it curves down, the maximum where it curves up, intersection. And we won't really do these other ones. This is a derivative if you go in the calculus. Um, integral, let's find the area under the graph. And... Yeah, bounded areas. If you have two graphs, it's the area that they kind of intersect. And yeah, we're not going to do conic sections. Okay, so if we were doing zero though, so we click on zero, um, and it, it, it comes up like this. So we can kind of move this thing around. And then it says lower bound. So lower bound, you're going to go to the left of it, right? Because the graph is kind of below the graph uh, to the left of it. So you go to the left of where I want to find the x intercept, to the right of it. And then it says, okay, it wants that um, x intercept or that zero point. And it tells you that when x is zero right there, y is equal to, or sorry, when y is equal to zero, I should say, um, x is equal to negative 0 0.826. Um, so you could do that for the other ones too. If you want to say, let's find this lower bound down around here, what I would do is go menu, analyze graph. And then it's a minimum, right? That's a lower bound. So I'm gonna go minimum. And again, you're just gonna go to the the left and then the right, and it finds it right there. It's saying that's my minimum point. So X value of that, Y value of that. And yeah, so that's how you find those things. Um, the last thing I guess I'll show you is how to find an intersection point. So let's say I also added another graph. If you wanna add another graph from like, let's say this point, little trick go to control and then G and that'll bring me back to this thing if I push up you can see my old my last one if I push down it gives me F2 I can put in a, a different function here um, so so let's just make um, F2 equal to let's say that was X oh I'll click on it better X all right so if we do that now we have two different graphs on on this one uh, graph um, uh, let's say I want to know where they cross, so that point right there. Um, we're going to be able to do the same thing, but we just need to choose the intersection point now. So we'll go Menu, Analyze Graph, and then down to number 4, Intersection. And we're going to do the same thing. You just go to the left of where you think they intersect, to the right of where you think they intersect, and it's showing you, okay, they intersect at right at this point. So, yeah, that's kind of neat. They ended up being exactly the same. Cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Um, okay, so uh, that was just a, a little lesson on how to use the analyze graph function. So I'm going to end that there, and I'll see you guys in class.